Welcome to episode 2 of our Sky Princess Norwegian Fjords vlog series. In this episode we enjoy a day at sea, the first dress to impress night, we put the medallion app which Princess claims is the best tech at sea through its paces and we have a very interesting sail into Bergen. Right okay. there. So let's tell you all about our day two, where we're woken up in the night by some very strange noises. And apart from <laughs> me making strange noises, yeah, I'm looking up here now because I'll, I'll do a, I'll do a pointy thing. There was a lot of creaking going on, and I've narrowed it down to this wood trimming, and it was sort of just because the seas were a little rough. Yes, we did have some rough seas last night. It was creaking like a old creaky thing. Creaking <laughs> worse than my back, yes. if that's possible. So that was a little frustrating, I must admit. It did keep me awake uh, a little bit. I did go off eventually. Um, and then I heard this <laughs> noise, and I thought, oh my God, somebody's sawing a piece of bloody wood up now. Anyway, I went, <laughs> so I went to the bathroom, and there was four coat hangers in the wardrobe going... <laughs> <laughs> so I secured those and then I managed to get to sleep. Loving the cabin, regardless of that squeaky, the cabin actually, the bed, princess beds are just so yeah, comfortable. Nice bed. Uh everything's got the bathroom's brilliant, the shower's really hot, hair dryer's amazing. Um so uh Edwin R cabin steward yes yeah, lovely well, real happy much. chappy isn't yeah. he? really lovely um so we decided to go to it was by then it was lunchtime so we uh decided to go up to the buffet and have a bite to eat you um, had um i had chicken korma vegetable rice and some poppadoms and it was delicious mm, i had pea soup you know if you've been following our river cruise vlogs you know i'm a big super big super <laughs> Big soup monster. Is that like um, uh, somebody who plays games as a gamer? So yeah, you, I'm a you super. eat soup, you're a super. <laughs> um, and I had pea soup and that was delicious. And then I just had a nice salad. They've got a very nice salad bar. Um, they're still serving in the buffet, and I like that. I don't yeah. like the self serve stuff. I think that's really good. Um, and I hope they continue that even when. Well, I say when things go to normal. On this ship, we've not got any mask wearing. There's um, sensible social distance. Most people really, are pretty good, aren't they? It does really feel like things are back to normal, it does. Like, like we said in the in the last. Yeah, theatre, the, no mask. Yeah, no mask in theatre. Sit at the, the front, front row. Yes, 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 we like the front row. So after our delicious lunch, we decided there was a an enrichment talk going on in the theatre with Paul, the cruise director, and it was called the life of a royal butler. It was, and I just want to interrupt that because. Um, as we, we had to walk through the casino to get to the theatre, and as we oh, walked yes. through, there was two ladies and a gentleman playing a, playing a fruit machine. Yes. And they won twelve thousand dollars. Yes, they did. We were like, oh my god. They're our new friends now. No, we no. don't. We don't. We haven't had a we haven't had a gamble yet. No, we haven't. No, so, well, um, definitely won't be going on that one. Because no, we're going to be paying out again. We found out about the enrichment talk as it was advertised in the Princess Patter. The Princess Patter is delivered to your room every day and tells you exactly what's going on around the ship and what time. Again. But back to the butler. Back to the theatre, back to the butler. His name was um, Grant Howard. Harold. Grant Harold. <laughs> Good job I write things in. His name was Grant Harrod. <laughs> yes. And he um, sat on stage with Paul and Paul basically interviewed him, didn't he? Yeah. Talking about his life working um, uh, for Prince Charles and for William and Kate, um, and just stories, a very professional, not a gossip monger at all, just no. telling us stories um, of, of how he went, see how he became a butler, and uh, what it was like working for the Royals. It was really interesting, yeah, it was, wasn't it? It was very interesting. Really, because yeah. Paul was like, oh, I don't want to go to a talk like that, which you did do that face. And I said, come and I on. And I did that face and that voice. Mm. Yeah, you did. And I said, come on, let's... I like to learn things. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Paul like does... How, like how to say words, that sort of stuff. You like to learn yes, that. Yes, I do People's sometimes. Names. Yes, I know. <laughs> but so, um, if you do ever see that uh, guy advertised on the ship, then I would go and yeah. see him, because he's got a lot of stories to tell. And and it was really insightful, wasn't it? It was indeed. Yeah, it was lovely. And, and when that was done, we thought, oh, let's just go into um, the piazza and just see what music's on. And then we bumped into the cruise monkeys, the cruise boys, who were just such great fun. Um, if you're not following um, them, then 
I, we recommend that you do because they're, they're well they just have some very good content yeah. too about cruising so we stopped and just had a quick drink with them didn't we for about five, five hours, hours. <laughs> yes um, we had a bit of an afternoon was, sesh and it was lovely as well because they had a classical yeah, duo, duo. Oh, and they started playing and there's some people got married on here and they came out and they did their first, first dance. dance oh, oh it, was it was just like oh i just well i obviously i didn't cry it was very emotional i like yeah, i thought i didn't oh, cry because i was hard as nails but i mean exactly. other i did hear other people had something in their eye yeah it was lovely so if you do want to get um married then you can do it on a ship. Yeah, but maybe I will. you should do our vows again, Paulie. Well, maybe you should stop being so stupid and get on with it. Formal night tonight, and we are all dressed to impress. So we're off now to grab some food and to see what the evening brings. We are indeed. Yeah, but come and look at Panorama. this. Panorama. Come and look at this. Am I opening the door and everything? We'd love to show you the view. I forgot to turn the handle. <laughs> but look at this. And we headed to the buffet. And again, it was great. It was roast dinner day. It was all things British. Mm. And because it was formal night, I think a lot of people wanted to go to the main dining rooms. And there was only about 20 people in the buffet. So it was almost like we had the biggest restaurant almost to ourselves. Yes, it was lovely. And there was, like Carol said, roast beef. Paul got roast, very excited. Roast lamb. They had roast chicken. They had toad in the hole, roast potatoes. Um, you had double toad in the hole. I had hole. double toad in the hole. You had quadruple sausage rolls. I did. I decided I wanted sausage rolls and gravy, um, with a bit of roast lamb and some roast potatoes, roast and it was it was it was delicious. Roast beef was superb. You could have mm. had it with a spoon. It was that tender. It's beautiful. So we were we were very um, content after our yes. uh, our roast. So then we uh, we arranged to meet um, Bob and Holly, uh, Innocence Abroad, and Jackie, Jackie and, and Alfie, Alfie yeah. um, in the jazz club. Welcome to Jazz Club. Great. <laughs> which is Take Five, um, which is a lovely lounge. Very hard to get a seat in it. It's very, very popular. Um, and we sat there and they were playing what they called cool jazz. It's called cool jazz. What I would call it is music to have a snooze by. Because <laughs> no. unfortunately... It's not our um, thing, is it? Cool jazz really wasn't for us. I do. We have listened to some jazz before on other cruises, but we haven't listened to any cool jazz. And i got to be honest, I just found it a bit of a snooze fest yeah obviously very talented yeah, musicians yeah. Um, and given history about all the songs and things which which didn't mean a lot to us because we don't no. understand but if you do love jazz um, then well, that is if you is love a, cool jazz well they'd spe- great <laughs> But anyway, so just to let you know that Take Five is there. Just no. So then we decided to go to the Vista Lounge um, because the uh, the cruise house band, what we call them? <laughs> the resident house band? That's, that's, the, that's what you're looking for. Um, called Ocean Boulevard yeah. Ron. I went in there and the atmosphere in there was really good. Yeah, there were people yeah. up on the dance floor. Um, they played some really up-to-date um, music and dance music. We sat with um, Alfie and Jackie and had a really lovely chat, yeah. didn't we? Um, Paul had his first dirty banana. He did. Mm. Yeah. It was all right, actually. Yeah. i got to say... I, if they'd have put some chocolate in it, it would have been almost like yeah. I perfect think you'd for me. prefer a mudslide. Yeah, there wasn't enough chocolate in it for you, yeah, was there? There was chocolate. chocolate syrup, but yeah. I had a pina colada, which was lovely, and then I had a strawberry daiquiri, but they were so sweet. Yeah. Um, and by then we were starting to feel a bit dopey, weren't we? <laughs> no, I'm not going to say anything about that, mate. <laughs> well, I think uh, our afternoon uh, session with the cruise mm. boys and um, not you, sleeping so well the night before. I think you saying you're starting to feel dopey, that's almost like insert your own punch yeah, I know. really, isn't it? But... So we decided, it was nearly midnight, so we thought, right, let's get get to bed because um, we wanted to be up early um, for our sail into Bergen. And we come back to the, the cabin and went out on the balcony. It was like, oh, my God. Earlier I'd been out, and I'll show you some pictures now um, when we were in the jazz club, but I wanted to just go out for the sunset. They said the sunset will set about 10 p.m. So I went out there onto the pool deck and it was really quite windy and cold. Um, but there were a few people watching the movies in the stars, wrapped up in blankets, um, and the sun was started to set. But of course we're going north in Norway and it's June, so it doesn't really get particularly dark. Well, it gets... Well, you'll see here. 
Let me show you. Uh, and we were just surprised, weren't we, when we went out? And it was just on, beautiful. Just, just see if I can unselect waffle mode on Carol. Yes. Anyway, <laughs> I do love a sunset, and it was going on for hours and hours. <laughs> Anyway, like you say, we are waffling. Um, uh, not, not we are waffling. There's only one waffler going on here. Uh, right then. Right then, morning, morning from um, from Bergen. Yes, we've arrived in Bergen this morning. Yes. Uh, we woke up, well, I woke up about six-ish. We were still way out at sea. Yeah, and just three and a half short hours later, I woke up. <laughs> yes. Yeah. But um, to be fair, half past nine, that's like... Yeah, that's early. And the lovely thing about when you do a sailing on a normal cruise... You're at sea, and then you get to the place. When you're in the fjords... We're not in the fjords yet. Well, where are we, then? We're Bergen, but it's not in the fjords. Well, what was all that land we... Well, it's lots of lovely land, but it's not the fjords. So was there not land the other side, then? Because we couldn't see the other side. I thought we was in a fjord. Oh. So, take no notice of what I just said. <laughs> but anyway, it was a lovely sailing with lots of beautiful landscape and little houses and yes. ferries going past. There's lots of little islands when you get into Bergen, yes. I think is what you're trying to say, isn't it? I don't, um, I don't know what I'm trying to say. No, then, I don't. To be but anyway, if you are sailing to Bergen, I would get up for it because it is um, it is beautiful. It's lovely. So we sat out there, I set the time lapse up, which hopefully we can uh, insert for you now yes. so you can see exactly what like, we mean. Yes. <laughs> which probably make more sense than what Paul's trying to explain. So we're just watching the beautiful sail into Bergen and we thought we'd order a little bit of breakfast for the balcony. So Paulie Morgan's here with his app <coughs> ready. And I'm fully confident. Fully confident. Fully confident. Mm. So we're going to see how long this takes. So here we've got the Ocean Medallion app. So Paul's going to find the food. And you'll see you get a selection up there. For sandwiches, and we're going to go for a princess egg muffin. As you can see, you can see they got complimentary sure by the side, so there's no charge for this. Okay, so we're so, going to have two of those. So we're going to go for that. Then. So we're going to add. And we're going to go for two. Yeah. So add, add item. item. And we wanted some um, crisps, wasn't it? <laughs> crisps. Because you've got snacks there, look, which you can get. Some things are complimentary. You can see some people, some people, some things, if Paul stops scrolling so much, um, like the shrimp roll would be um, $12. So, but if we go back to the crisps. I must be in the wrong place for crisps. Where is that one? Sides. 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 Potato chips. So we're not French fries. Are you? Yeah. See the do you the sound of <laughs> disgust in her voice that are you? But and whereas Carol's going for the very healthy okay, potato sister. chips. Are you? <laughs> Add item. Right, so now go to our basket. So there we have everything's complimentary. So we want to order. Order now. Yes. And you see it's got our stateroom at the top. Did anything happen when you touched that? I don't know. Oh, so that's a good start then. Yeah. Tap, tap. What was tap that? it again. What, what language was that? <laughs> tap, tap. 
its own. Mm. So there we are. So we'll wait and see. Yeah. So I look forward to going out and getting we'll some food later. We'll let you know what happens next. See, the fact that, you know, three hours later there's no food because the app wouldn't work. And couldn't even get our order could, to couldn't go. Couldn't even get it to go. It went, unfortunately, on this oh, cruise, the tech just, just hasn't just been good. It just sucks, to be honest. It's just so frustrating. It Some, is. Which somebody told Don't us, which we're going to... I'm not going to rant. <laughs> somebody told us that if you're in your room and you want to order stuff, like yesterday, I ordered a beer. It came. it came? It came virtually straight away. But we couldn't even send the order today. But somebody said to us, we've been having a little tete-a-tete -tete online, and they said, have you tried ordering it on your TV? Yeah. So the next time we try and order something, we'll, do that we'll, tomorrow. we'll, try, we'll try on the yeah, television. Yeah, or later. But um, just... Uh, anyway, we don't anyway. want to go to rant about the tech. Yeah, the tech's not yeah. good. Yes. But what is good is we are uh, in Bergen, and we are... Which is not in a fjord. Well... No, we uh, do. Let us know in the comments she's below. She's not so sure now. <laughs> You'll get she, me down. She's there. waffling on, saying, "I don't know what I'm talking about." But Back I'm, to com Bergen. I'm confident. Back to Bergen. We're here. We're waiting to get off. There's been a little bit of a, 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 a medical emergency call um, to the engine room. We've been reassured by the captain that everything's fine, which is brilliant. Um, so we're just waiting for the captain to come back on the tannoy just to let us know that we've been cleared and that we can get off. We've been to Bergen once before. We, we, we did the funicular and went up to... Um, funicular. It is called the funicular, isn't it? I've got some cream for that. <laughs> <laughs> ah! But anyway, so um, I will insert some photos from our previous trip there just so you can know, show you that that is available. Um, but we're going to, as soon as we can get off, we can have a, we'll take your own Bergen. It's bank holiday today though, isn't it? So everything's closed. It might be yeah. closed. So I'm I might just look from my window over the fjord or wherever we are. So anyway, <laughs> we're going to go out to Bergen and, and let you know how we get on. Yes. Join us in episode three where we explore Bergen and we show you more of what the Sky Princess has to offer.